My name is Zonzel Watson, and in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to use Studio One Prime. It goes four different versions for Studio One. First is Demo, second is Prime, third is Artist, fourth is Professional. Now, you're very limited with this version right here, but at the request of a lot of people, you guys have this version, and I'm going to show you how to get the most out of it. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. I have a track right here called Solo. And we're just going to go ahead and do that. Now, um, I have three, for the chorus, I have three different takes. So it's like overdubs. And here's the lead one. Here's a second one. And here's a third one. So what we're going to do is double click the lead one. And then this is going to highlight the lead one right here. And then on the second one, which is this one, which highlights this, I want you to make this left. All right. Now you gotta have three of them recorded to do this. And then on the third one, make this right. So you got one coming out the middle, you got one coming out the right, and one coming out the left. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna play that. So we're gonna see how that sounds. Me and the homie was good, was good. Until he got over on bro, bro. Keep it 100 with me. Anything less than no, no. Man, I thought Shorty was down. Keeping our thing on the low, low. Can no one do it like me? I guess I'm better off solo. Okay, so that's no effects on there at all. So let's go ahead and just add an effect. So let's go to browse, open up your browse, and go to channel strip. If you don't know what that looks like, let me close all these so you can see. So this is what you get. This is what it looks like. It'll probably show up like this or like this for you. Or even like this. You click PreSonus. And this is all that you get from it. You get Empire, Beat Delay, Channel Strip, uh, Chorus, Flanger, Mix Verb, Pedal Board, Phaser. All, you get this right here. That's it. After Tuner, that's it. You just get Red Light and Phaser. What you're going to do is pull up your Channel Strip. You're going to click it. And then these folders will pop up. You're going to go to Vocals. And then you're going to go to Male Vocal 2 or Male Vocal 1. I like Male Vocal 2 better. Just personally, that's me. And then you want to click it, hold it, and drag it over to track one. Okay, and let go. And what? And then what that did is that put this here. So now channel strip is on there. Is on this track, track right here. That highlighted the main one. That's centered in the middle. All right. Matter of fact, we can mute these. Click mute for the other two, for the right and the left. And then we're gonna just play that real quick. Me and the homie was good, was good. until he got over on bro, bro. Keep it 100 with me. Anything less than no, no. Man, I thought Shorty was down. Was down. Keeping our thing on the low, low. Can no one do it like me? All right. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna unmute these now and put that on there too. You can drag it, click it, and drag it on here like that. And that puts it on there. Exit. Or you can click and drag and do the same thing you did over here. Put it on here. So now all three of them have it. So I can unmute that and let's hear how they sound now. Me and the homie was good, was good. until he got over on bro, bro. Keep it 100 with me. Anything less than no, no. Man, I thought Shorty was down. Keeping our thing on the low, low. Can no one do it like me? I guess I'm better off solo. Okay, so it sounds a little bit better. Uh, but let's. Double click the channel strip here. So if you don't know if you're out of this, make sure you double click this and then you double click channel strip. And then uh, you can see what's going on here. So right now this is under male vocal one. I mean male vocal two. If you want to go to male vocal one, you click click this, go to vocals, and go to male vocal one. And now just the lead one has male vocal one. And I'll uh, mute these so you can hear. Me and the homie was good, was good. until he got double over on bro, bro. Keep it 100 with me. Anything less than no, no. As I tell Shorty was down, down. keeping our thing on the low, low. And that's one. So you can hear the differences. So let me tell you what's going on. You got the compress knob, and this isn't a full compressor. I did a whole video on channel strip so you can actually see what's going on with the knobs. But just for the sake of time, this is a compressor knob. You want more, you can go ahead and add more. This is a um, low cut frequency knob, so. I'll show you, watch, what happens if I turn this up. Me and the homie was good, was good. until he got over on bro, bro. I can tell him with me, anything less than no, no. Man, I thought shorty was down. Then, you know, if compressor, if you don't know what that is, it's like 
tightening it. Keeping our thing on the low, low. Can no one do it like me? Which nothing's wrong with a little more compressor since me it's the, the since it's the only compressor that you're going to get. Nothing's wrong with adding a little more. Most times when people do mixes, they put like two compressors on it on top of like a really good compressor. So go ahead and add a little more if you wanted to. Um, and then the low. So this is different than the red. This is the yellow. You can also do it from here. Uh, the yellow right here. Homie was good until he got over on bro, bro. Keep it 100 with me. Anything less than no, no. Man, I thought Shorty was down. So you can see what that does. Same thing for this. Keeping our thing on the low, this low. The middle. Can no one do it like me? I guess I'm better off solo. Let's play that back. Me and the homie was good until he got over on bro, bro. Keep it 100 with me. In the highs. Anything less than no, no. Man, I thought Shorty was down. Keeping our thing on the low, low. Can no one do it like me? I guess I'm better off solo. So that's why the presets are real helpful because they're right there. But you can make those adjustments. I just want to show you those because you can make those adjustments if you ever hear something like, man, I want my voice to have a little more crispiness. Then work on the highs. You're like, man, I want some of those lows out. Work on the lows. But the presets are right here. So I'm going to bring it right back to where it was. All right. Now, that's pretty much what you're going to get now. What I want you to do, if you did do the um, two things like I do, the right and the left, when you're overdubbing, let's unmute these. Now go to the chorus, which is right under channel strip, and then go to, um, right when you click that, this all these will pop up. Go to backing vocals, click and hold, and bring this to the left and right one. So first we're gonna do the left, let go. Now that's on there, leave that alone. And I'll do another video on chorus so you guys can see what's going on here, but that's a preset, and then do it over here to the other one too. So now, let's exit. Now if you double click this, you can see this has channel strip and chorus on it for the left, same thing for the right. And the middle one, that center, just has channel strip, which is good, because that is a lead. Me and the homie was good, until he got over on bro, bro. Keep it 100 with me, anything less than no, no. Man, I thought shorty was down. Keep it so there's that. Now, uh, as far as anything else, I'm going to just be straight up with you. I can go ahead and show you guys what won't work but what's the point of me showing you what won't work um that's what you're going to get now red light district this is like a distortion thing if you want some distortion you can add that but you're not going to want that watch me and the homie was good until he got over on bro bro this is the volume out bro keep it 100 with me but you might want to use it for something you could also click and click their presets Anything less than no, no Man, I thought Shorty was down Keeping our thing on the low, low Can't no one do it like me I guess I'm better off so So there's that I mean, whatever you want to use that for to, to remove it, you just Click the arrow And go to remove There's phaser Which you click that More things will pop up It could be for your voice too, but I mean Then there's flanger It's probably Any other one that you're probably going to want to use is flanger Which, even though it says guitar um, it's for your voice too. So like slow fang or something like that. There's yeah. different ones you could drag and try. If you don't like it, then you can just click the arrow and try the other ones like space pad, you see? Just click there, click there. So let's go slow fang. Me and the homie was good. Until he got over on bro, bro. Keep it 100 with me. And again, there's knobs and I'll do another video on that. It's just too time consuming for now. So that's how you do it. I can't show you a uh, reverb because the reverb sucks. Watch. It, it just sucks. I'm sorry. Even if I went to large hall. If you want to go to vocal gated, you want to try something, hate that, I don't know what I'm talking about. Cool. Let's remove the flanger so you can hear it. Me and the homie was good. Until he got over on bro, bro. Keep it 100 with me. I don't like that. You might like it. I don't. You can add some size to it. Anything less than no, no. Here's another one, uh, vocal big. Man, I thought Shorty was down, keeping our thing on the low, low. Can no one do it like me? I just, I'm not feeling it. Even Large Hall, watch Large Hall. Me and the homie was good, until we got over on bro. So, I mean, these effects are real hard to use because Professional has all the good effects. All the easy ones with the presets that you like. So pretty much the whole point of what PreSonus even allow Prime to be made for is so that people would want to upgrade to the artist or professional version. And I recommend getting the professional version 
just because you're going to get the biggest kick out of that anyway. But if you are just starting, just use this channel strip and go with it. I thank you guys for watching my video. Hopefully you found this helpful, especially to my friend who's been watching this. Uh, I did this for you, bro, and for everybody out there that's just trying to get more knowledge with this stuff. As you continue to get familiar with it, your recordings will sound better and better and better. And as you upgrade to like artist and professional, it'll sound even like it'll sound just superb, man. So that's what we're aiming for. And remember, always remember that whatever you do on here, save it on your hard drive, save it on your little thumb drive, because what'll happen is once you get professional, you can transfer that and start mixing it on that. You keep all your files that are recorded. So those are my tips. Appreciate it. And again, subscribe to this channel.